In a recent study, photographers were asked if they could find their home after they left it, and 91% of them actually thought they lived in caves nearby in the hills, and there were not even caves, just some kids dug some holes. Photographers aren't longed for our world. It doesn't mean if five of them came to me with their photos, I'd throw them away. Come on. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So if you want to be on the show, email one photo to cameraconspiracies at disciples.com. There's a slight waiting list of about a hundred years. I'll get to your thing eventually, but patience on that one. First shot, we got some wild dogs here. It's a staged attempt. You were invited for a photo opportunity. I prefer if you were out in the wild and actually saw dogs instead of some people protecting you because the dogs would beat you up and take your lunch along with whatever bits of raw meat. That does look delicious. This is Alexander Van Loggenerberg, and he's taken this shot on a Panasonic G9 with a 35 to 100, 2.8. He stopped down to 3.5 artistically, 13,200 what? I don't even know what that, I clearly did not write that down properly. 200 ISO, you can tell this is not full frame and this is why People, like, old men have crumpled spines, unable to lift anything more than a pound and a half, so they switch to Micro Four Thirds, saying, you know what, I can't see the difference between my old full-frame gear, it's because you're blind as a bat, and your spine has cut off the blood flow to your brain and your optic nerves. It's Micro Four Thirds results. You're going to bring that to the savannah for a once-in-a-lifetime dog? Why didn't you crunch down? and get the tray out of the shot and the guy's feet you moron you're just oh look at that i'm gonna stay where i am and take the shot ow my back thankfully this gear's light sorry for the results yeah it reminds me of course of a shot i took when i was in africa and there was wild dogs obviously but there was also a gang of babies and it was like, who would win that? Humans, but they're babies. There's three on three, it's a fair fight. Although there is a fourth dog there, I see him in the shadows now. Not that the Micro Four Thirds could have raised the details on that one, he's barely there. There's babies, and I cloned the ground to erase the dog stuff, and I erased most of it. And you can't even tell that I did it, because my skills See, this is the thing. You wait for the babies. Baby versus dog. Cat versus dog. It's not just, oh, here it's feeding time. Grow up. Okay, we got some birds. You're properly exposed. I'll give you that. It looks pretty good. Nothing seems too clippy. But it does not look like it's shot on a quality 3D pop type of system. It's a very flat rendering. It couldn't be new RF glass because RF glass is superior, right? Oh. It is. Oh, it's the 100 to 400, the budget lens. He thought, you know what? That's so cheap. Wow, and it's light. I'll just take this. Let's go, Craig. Oh no, how come my shots look so bad and cheap? Can you tell that the birds are 3D separated from the sky? You can't. Oh, for once in your sad excuse for a life, why don't you save a couple dollars instead of buying beer for your cat? And then get a, the 100 to 500 at least. Sure, you would have cropped in a bit. You would have lost the magical glow on the side. It's an okay shot. I bet you took 40, if not like 300 shots here. And that was your best one. Because the one bird was flying away. But the other ones aren't really doing a lot. Sure, there's snow flickering. I'm just an ass for no reason. This is a good shot. It would have been much better on a Fuji. The point I'm trying to make here is, while your shot was okay, you could have waited for a flying squirrel to come in the scene. Those are known to be around at that time of year in your neighborhood. And what was going to happen? Are they friendly? I don't think the squirrel would eat the bird. They just, he's coming in. Hey, maybe he just wants to play. And yeah, there was a frog on the, the little snow branch there birds didn't even notice him it's like why is he there huh that's cool okay i'm 
I'm, I'm not sure what I see here. There's a lot of blurriness. I feel like you did it afterwards in post. Like, oh, I'm going to blur these branches. I don't know that I would have made that artistic choice. It's an okay scene, a little black and white. It would have been nicer with a glimmer glass filter and a little sun maybe glowing and then don't blur whatever the hell you did to the sky and the leaves. I mean, it's an okay mysterious shot. Is that your car up front? You literally parked up, parked your car and then walked back. Oh, I hate you so much, you photographers. You never plan ahead. Why didn't you just park right to the right here? Oh, I hope that guy up there is waiting to kill you. That's the only hope that brings me happiness. When I was there, I at least took the time to wait till after 4 p.m. when Bigfoot is known to come out. And he was there, and he's looking at me, and he's thinking, man, that vlogger, it's so egotistical. If He could have the first photo of Bigfoot, but he's too busy explaining to his audience how stupid he is and how his mother's basement is too cold for him and how her cereal she doesn't make it like she used to the milk is added too early and it's a little soggy the vlogger only cares about himself not the bigfoot and mankind in general inspiring images are never coming forth let's all go subscribe to him but it's shaky footage. He's using a gorilla pod. Those, those aren't good. They never were. Okay. Wow, that's sharp, huh? Sharp as attack on that. This is shot on the Panasonic S1R. This is a full frame, super high megapixel camera and you got a 50 mil prime. How is it that bad quality? What did you do? Were you taking it with like two fingers to see if you could just squeeze your camera and your shake? You drank seven cups of coffee. How could it be this bad? You're on a freaking Panasonic 45 megapixels. What even is this? You know, sometimes gear doesn't matter. And then even when it does, you F it up. You don't even use your gear to the full potential. How did you get such a soft image? from that camera, I can't even fathom it. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. And it's not even aligned good. What a disgrace to Panasonic users across the world. They're gonna see this and be like, Panasonic, no, that's what Panasonic colors are? It's not even sharp? What the hell is that? I'm never buying Panasonic. Way to put them out of business in one photo. Wow, thankfully when I was there, with the newer Panasonic camera. I noticed that that was a hidden dimension place that scientists built and they shouldn't be playing with this kind of technology. We're not ready for it. They were discussing who goes first. Some guy already went in. Who was that guy? He's already on to the fourth dimension. He's gonna come back with information that will blow your mind and you're not even it's not even one of your team, it's some like evil guy that infiltrated your thing, a spy. It's likely a spy. So it's like these kind of places do exist. Hidden government experiments. And scientists pushing past what they deserve. Oh god. Oh. When I started this series. I was hoping for just inspirations to see, oh, photographers, you know what? I give you some tough times, but you are better than me. Y you showed me that, you know what? A still image is better than video sometimes. You capture a moment and it's like, no video could ever do that. The hell is this? This is also full frame. You'd never know it. A Nikon D810. There's probably world-renowned photographs taken with that camera. It's legendary. And this is what you did with it? Some guy in a bathrobe on the street pointing to God to save him. This is why 50 mil is not a street photography lens. There's no context. Where is he? 
is he applying for some actor's gig and he's in a line of important people and he's playing a or is he just actually homeless next to a garbage can go 35 maybe 28 that's what i hear people do what is this when i saw that man he had gathered himself he put on some better clothing and he was actually taking people's photographs for money he was a professional photographer using fuji medium format he had his own softbox and he was asking people hey do you want to just it was a valentine's day thing there's couples there you know what free for you today didn't even charge them a saint saint that's shirt though wow that is nice so that man's a hero unlike your homeless guy my guy was doing something inspiring the world do you want to see the photo that he took that photo he showed it to me he got this moment of frogs he was like wow there's a oh i didn't even notice those there let me just wait for the perfect timing so it looks like one of them's falling up home that's a real photographer right there he uses medium format what are you using use it to your advantage some of you have the best gear and you're not even using it to its full potential like I am with the Voigtlander lens. I could have been in focus for some of that. I stopped it down to Tony 2. So I likely, some of this was in focus. I'm the professional here. Terrible shots. Wow. This is a terrible series. One day just... I'll be inspired one day. One of you has it in you. Maybe Marcus Pix will send over a photo or something. Tony Northrop, do you got something? Somebody. Help. Subscribe for more videos. Hey.